Hi everyone, welcome back. What is this weather? Where am I? This is late September and I feel like I'm in Club Tropicana. That behind me is Nays Tower. I am in Essex today, Walton on the Nays. I'm going to make my way down towards Walton Pier itself so I can see you everything along the way and then you can see the seafront and the pier, the attractions. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. Also, if you could leave a thumbs up below, that would really help me out. It's the last hurrah of summer. Welcome to Walton on the Nays. Let's go. There you go. How does every video start? The cappuccino. Next to the naze. Perfect place for dog watching. Look at this guy. So I walked on just a bit further than naze tower and there is a nature reserve over here. Some of these views down at the cliffs. Spectacular. I actually only came down here because I thought there was a way to get down to the beach but now I cannot see any way, so I'm going to have to turn back. This big open space here, and then a visitor centre over there for Nays Tower. So that is a navigation tower which was built in 1720. It was used in both world wars. And today it's a family run attraction where you can go inside, see exhibits and get some amazing views from the top. And a cafe down below. Someone's pitched up a tent. These toilets look like they've been closed since the flood. There is a public toilet available in that building over there. We've got a tea room there. Huge car park. Absolutely huge. Six pound parking for all day as well. Ah, where I have found a way down. I made it to the bottom. Look at these calm waters. You can't actually get any further than that because the tide is right in. So the steps lead down to water. Right, we start our walk down towards Walton Pier. God, I'm excited. I've had a coffee, I'm buzzing. I feel like Rocky when he finds out he's going to have a pop at Apollo Creed. Love it, you've got all the, the trees, the nature, the wildlife to the right and the sea to your left. It's very happy dog's just had a paddle. It's sunny, you're away from everyone. You've got this little beach hut village. Oh, hello. It's like a little community out there. Another tea room. I don't know about you guys, but I just see something like this where it's kind of jutting out. I just need to walk down there. Maybe it's because I feel like I'm hard. No one else is down there, apart from the Squawky Brothers. And there it is, Walton Pier in all of its glory. Looks actually quite close. I thought it'd be like a massive stretch before we saw anything like that. One lone September swimmer. I'm currently obsessed with seals and dolphins because I keep seeing in the papers about these creatures rocking up at seaside towns. Anyone that lives in Walton, you ever get any seals? Dolphins? Sharks? Please comment down below. This bit here, I feel like I could be in Greece or something. I feel like I could be in like, I feel like I'm in Mamma Mia. Now this Essex coast actually used to be quite a popular holiday destination. It was this, it was Clacton, it was Jaywick. My parents always used to go to Jaywick. It's just crazy to think this place exists. For those of you who are enthusiastic about facilities, facilities greet you every few hundred meters. Doggies. Hi. Hi. Look at this old lifeboat house. I wonder what it's called. The old lifeboat house. Oh, I love it. Look at all these cool gnomes and ornaments. Hang about. What are these two doing? 
when you gotta go, you gotta go. Now I love exploring these seaside towns, but I feel like a really neglected kind of Essex seaside town, so I wanted to make an effort to come out here today. And this just feels so much different to like the Kent seaside towns and the Sussex seaside towns. It's just got a completely different feel altogether. I don't know what it is. Just come up some stairs and you're suddenly like in the town, there's like houses here. Like imagine living there. In the morning you just cook your breakfast, then go down the stairs and eat it on the seafront. Imagine at night sitting on that balcony, just drinking a gin. Ah, it must be pirate month already. A good spot for fishing. That man had caught some seaweed, it seems. I was thinking of parking in this place as well. But I looked it up online and the review said it was just a free-for-all. There was no marked bays or anything. Some of these old school pubs just love to retire here. Our first sign of amusements. Now we're getting into the proper old seaside town vibes. This is so exciting. These restaurants, fish and chips places. I'm liking this, I'm liking it. This is so cool. Look. Gifts and cards. Insane. There's a market on today. I thought he was in U2. One of my favourite anecdotes to tell anyone, and you probably won't find this funny at all. When me and Aaron were here a few years ago, it wasn't even later, it was about 5 pm, we were trying to find somewhere to get a cappuccino, and everything was closed. I don't know why. And in the end, we went into a fish and chip place like that. And said, can we have a cappuccino? And he went, can we do you a coffee and froth the milk up? And in the end, they just gave us two watery coffees. The guy working there must have thought, look at these couple of <laughs> Right, we've had a detour through the town centre. We are now next to the pier. Three buckets and spades. Might have to loot that on the way back. I've treated myself to some typical seaside British cuisine chips. They look a bit ropey, but they taste all right. That's the main thing. Here we go. Let's have a look. Oh, this is fantastic. Absolutely banging. Oh, George Michael banging out the speakers. Bowling. Strike. And this is actually so nostalgic because I remember so many times coming here when I was little. My parents brought me here. I've got like photos of when I was three or four years old on the ghost train at the end of this pier. It's bringing back a lot of memories. What's that? There's climbing balls in it. Cheeky git. This is sad. Some of the rides aren't operating. Well, none of the rides are operating. Excuse me. When does the walks is open? Hello? Is anyone in there? Oh, it freaks me out. Why can I get a pint? On a weekend, I bet it's absolutely banging out here. All the rides open, loads of people around. That view out there, the sun sparkling on the water. High tide. So I guess I'll wait here now, look out for seals. Arcade machine graveyard there. Mirror maze. It's a maze in. Come on Gandalf, you've got to do better than that. I'll tell you what, the smell in here is so familiar. It's the carpets, I think. This is the most spooked out I've been in a while. So even though the pier was built in 1830, I think it was built and rebuilt quite a few times. It had a number of owners. Most recently it was bought and opened again in 2022, I read. A bit disappointing that the end of the pier's closed though, because I was hoping to get there. Well, I've got to be honest, that was just mind-blowing in there. It was like stepping back into like the 1990s or something. Absolutely love it. Aaron's parents' beach hut is up there somewhere. What is it, number 37? No. Is that it? 14? No. 39? Ah, oh, I can't remember. Can't even get up there to have a look. Why didn't you come with me, Aaron? I didn't realise there were so many beach huts. Crazy! It's like a gang of beach huts. 
and so I think we'll leave it at that now it's as far as we will come but if you keep on walking down there you get to Frinton on sea Clacton after that but those are for another day but guys I am keen to hear from you if you're local or if you're not local but you're a regular visitor let me know if there's anywhere that I missed today that I should have seen This dog is living his best life, rolling around in the sand. I do envy dogs sometimes, just so you can appreciate how nice and sandy this beach actually is. Bring a couple of beach towels down, bring a few beers, crack on. So what did I think of Walton? I thought it was great. The only thing is it's not really local to me, so I wouldn't necessarily come here every day. But yeah, you can see why it is so popular. It does not feel like Essex at all. It feels like Barbados. One disappointing thing is that there aren't that many places, at least this end of the beach, to get a beer or anything, which is what I could really do with right now. Other than that, fantastic. Look at this guy. Hey, no, don't go. I want to give you a pet. Come back. Another journey comes to an end. I hope you enjoyed that though. If you did, please give the video a like with a thumbs up below. If you don't live too far, definitely worth a drive down here. It just feels very old. It's got a real classic seaside town feel to it. Thanks a lot for watching. See you later.